What's up everybody, I'm Ty, and welcome back to the Tech Bum. Today, we've got something, a little bit of a pain in the butt to deal with. My cousin just got a brand new motherboard and he got a brand new processor. Now, he bought the 3700X and he also bought an ASUS ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard. Well, here's the issue. The motherboard works just fine until you put the 3700X in it. And we couldn't figure out why that was. So today, I'm supposed to do that. Let's get going. So the first thing I do is remove the anti-static bag from around the motherboard and place the motherboard on the motherboard box. This is because the box is an insulated surface and is not gonna conduct electricity. Now I'll go ahead and remove the mounting hardware that was left behind to keep the back plate in place. I struggle a little bit with these because they're kind of tight, but after a minute or two, I got all four of them off. Now that I can get that hardware out of the way, I'll go ahead and reinstall the two plastic pieces that originally came on this motherboard because these plastic pieces are actually used to mount some of the Ryzen CPU coolers that come in their box, like the 3700X. And that's going to be the cooler we're using today. This is what those pieces look like. Now I'll go ahead and install the processor on the motherboard and we're using the 3700X Ryzen as well as the ASUS ROG Strix B450F motherboard. Now I'm going to clean off the IHS with a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol before placing the sink down. Normally I would add a fresh drop of thermal paste in the center of the IHS, but since this is a brand new cooler that we're using, it already comes with thermal paste on it, and we'll just go ahead and use that. Now I've got to come up with a few more parts, so let's start with some RAM. Now a power supply. Gonna need a graphics card too. And finally, a SATA SSD. Now we hook up our GPU power. Then our SATA power. Now I can hook up the 24 pin for the motherboard. And then the CPU 4 plus 4 power. Alright, now let's find out what's wrong with this thing. No way! It worked the first time. So what's wrong? <laughs> I don't know, but that clip's going in for sure with this and all. Uh, That's so odd. Why would that happen? At this point, this is where I lost all USB. And this is explainable. 
because I was using Windows 7, which became incompatible with B450 motherboards at a certain point, which means, yeah, I can't use anything, I can't log in or anything, and uh, kind of stuck. So, we better go get the M.2 with, you guessed it, Windows 10. Once I figured that out, it was back to scavenging. One NVMe drive later, we were in business. Okay, so now we can see what? Okay, so here's my conclusion. It worked for me, and the only thing that was really different, I used one NVMe, and that's it. So that's gotta be what's going on. I was looking through the BIOS updates and the notes for it are saying that they're fixing compatibility issues with the NVMe drives. And I think that's specifically when you have a 3000 series Ryzen processor on this B450 motherboard from Asus, the uh, ROG Strix B450F. When you have that series processor on this motherboard, there's an issue with the second slot for your NVMe. So let's say you have your NVMe and you only have one and it's in the second slot and you're getting a weird boot loop. You might need to move it to the first slot and the first slot would be the one that is closest uh, to the CPU. So just move it up, see if it stops, should work. But at the same time, if you're like him, him being my cousin Gustavo, um, he had two NVMe's and he wanted to use both. Why wouldn't you want to? But I think that's the issue here. So I'm going to have him make sure he only uses his main one in the first slot. And uh, we should have this issue solved. So if you're facing this problem, please, you know, try it. See if it works for you. And if it does, then, you know, comment down below. Let people know so that they can figure this out. Because these types of issues, they're a pain in the butt. And anybody that can help out, I appreciate it. And I'm sure everyone else does. So anyway, I'm Ty, and this has been The Tech Bum. So I'll catch you guys next time. And I guess we didn't fix it. We simply discovered a flaw. It's good enough. Okay, so here we are the next day. This is my cousin Gustavo here. Say what's up, man. So yeah, are you happy? Yeah. Okay. Was I right? That, do we put the whole thing back together with all your parts, right? Everything yours? Yeah. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Obviously, you know, it works. Everything's good there. But the whole thing is, he can't use an NVMe in the bottom slot. Isn't that the case? Yeah. So why don't you tell Asus what you'd like them to do about that? Shit.